Hello, welcome back. Last time, Siren Deeps was uh, mostly explored. I got just like this little slice of it left to go. And a bunch of things to investigate, sure. Um, I think the first thing I want to do right now is go back home and put some stuff away and forge some things. Uh, I don't know what the sea devil thing is. I didn't cast water breathing. Okay, probably going to take a tick of damage because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Or maybe, maybe I'll make it. Looks like I make it just fine. Cool. Okay, so, um, I got this forge formula for an ancient spear, and that sounds like something I definitely want. Obviously, I'm going to be doing a lot of underwater combat. I'm not, I'm not at all done with that zone, and there's one below, and there's Crystal Lake. So investing in underwater weaponry would be very nice. Because these are kind of okay, but they could be better. <laughs> 5 to 15 plus strength, are they even kind of okay? They're pretty bad, honestly. Um, I want to get a rapier. I own one of those, I'm pretty sure. Where do I keep it? Here, found you. This is unresolved. Are any of these resolved? Yes, this one. Okay, so someday I'll sell that. Hollow in the ruins. Bury everything in the same place. Yeah, I know where that was found, but I did not understand what that was about. Okay, uh, I got lots of gold keys. I'm going to use those on something in a second. Durability 3, durability 15, okay, yeah, so this is just a town maintenance run. By the way, it's probably like a Tuesday or something. Something. What's for sale? We got cloth, cloth, hide, cloth, cloth, hide, hide, okay. It is textile week. Um, noted. Not sure if I want to do anything with that. I am going to do something with ore right now. You. How many more do I have? Five. Okay, so five more after that. They're like weird loaves of bread. <laughs> Very glowy on the inside. Uh, okay. So yeah, you I'm going to try to put in that statue's hands. These I'm going to see what the druid set bonus is. This I'm going to just use alongside you. These can stay with me here, that's fine. Extra rocks can go there. I have too many daggers. Do I? Not really. That's fine. Uh, that's going to take up all the space and I won't be able to see anything. This is already kind of doing that. Alright, well, it's not the best of storage. What if I did this the other way around? Munitions on floor, guns on the shelf. Would that make sense? What if I had a munition shelf? What is this? One bow? That... how about here? Oh, hey! What if... What if this... So this is not... Oh, hey, what's this chest? This chest is... Right, that's a box chest. <laughs> what's this chest? That's a textiles chest. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's put these here. Where the other paperish things are. Uh, what's this? Rogue pants. Materials hide. Wait, don't I want to make those? Oh, I think I had this, then didn't have any hide, then forgot about it. And now that I have some hide, I want to do something about this. Okay, so... I'm going to rearrange things a bit. Guns go there. I don't need a revolver when I have a revolver plus one. I'm going to sell this. Ammunition goes here. Sure, that works. How's your... Oh, you yeah, have way too much. Wow, I've been picking up quite a bit. Didn't realize. Okay, um, other munitions, sure. Those stay with you, that's fine. I'm never using this right now. I should just put it away for now. All right, so then bows and arrows. Sure. Uh, all right, so this is for sell. This is for forge. And if I'm doing that, 
I'll take one of my hides. If I decide I like this, then I'll buy another to put in that chest when I come back, which I will be doing shortly. Uh, wait, no, don't you keep these around in a bag? You do. Not those, though. Well, I don't have a lot of those. That's fine. Don't need them. Okay, cannonballs. Got a bunch. Uh... Enchanted sack to make you lighter, great, and this is resolved. I'm not going to the place where notes are sold, just where other things are sold. Okay. No growing. Alright, this is looking pretty good. Uh, sure. Okay, how's my food? Terrible. I need lots. What will I do about that? Okay, um, how's my pale nut? Enough to do something with. Do I want to make cheese? Because that would just feed you. Maybe I do. Uh, so 15 worm root, 10, I'm gonna carry all my salt weed. I'm gonna carry all my grim caps too. That weighs a bit. Okay, I have a lot of horned fruit. What can I do with those? Alright, I'm gonna look at my recipe list and figure out what I want to cook, and that might take a bit, actually. Alright, I think I'm gonna go with one batch of cheese, two batches of sausage. Ah, and I can make two batches of sausage nicely by... I'm gonna make it out of this stuff, I think. Uh, that's the wrong number. Okay, that number of that, this number of these... We'll make some cooked meat. There we go, and then I salt that with you. And there we go, some good sausage. And those just go straight in your mouth. The rest of you are okay for now. Okay. And then for cheese... I need forest milk, which is this. And this. So now I have six of that, and now I have eight of that. So three left over, three left over. And this goes with, what is it, herder cap and spices? There we go. Okay, cool. So, um, that'll take care of me for at least a little bit. So, cheeseburg. I want to sell this revolver. I went to the wrong place. Hold on, do I want to buy things here in this food store? Probably. Let's check. $50 for one nut roll. 26 for one sausage? I accept that. Ooh, lizard on a stick? I've never had one of those. Let's see how good it is. Okay, it's decent. A little less than a sausage. I wonder if that's cookable. Hmm. Nine spices, $72. Yes, absolutely. That's the sort of thing I'm here for. Cheesecake? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's experience. $100, though. I'm doing it. Okay, cool. So, uh... Selling. This is exclusive potions shop. Let me check what's here. Potion of Vitality, check it out. $300 for Vitality plus one. That's actually pretty tempting. I should probably do that. Because, like, getting that otherwise is pretty hard. Yeah, that's... It's expensive, but it's worth it. Vitality's not a stat I'm... I think about needing much, but honestly, yeah, if I could help out Kagan's health a bit, that sounds nice. Let's do it. So $300... I have enough. Alright. Thank you. So a little more of that. Cool. Uh, I want to go to Super Buying Up. And sell you this revolver. Alright, 70. Good. And also sell you... Didn't I have one other thing I wanted to give you? No. Okay. So now, Forge... I think I took whatever was there, and I don't 
need to worry about that right now. The forge was in the undershop. Right, and I'm buying hide if I do indeed decide to keep these uh, pants. I probably will. Right, gem exchange and also buying copper nuggets, says it? Right, I got something off a thing. Forge, safe. So I want to make Ancient Spear. Light to added weapon. 15 to 45 plus strength. That is a huge upgrade. Yes, that was absolutely worth it. Yeah, look at those numbers. And you're the one who backstabs, so you could get, like, ridiculously high numbers off of that. Cool. And this could stay in, what's his name, Yelman's hands and not have to do the swap. Although... Well, since he can't backstab, then no, it's much better with Kagan, of course. And it's a strength weapon, so yeah, okay. Now, there was another ancient spear I could buy, right? Uh, no, that's a Zarshan Harpoon, that's different. Okay, so definitely happy with that. What about the rogue pants? Protection 7, Dexterity 2, Light Armor. That's okay. What do you need your evasion for? You have a lot of it. You have a ridiculous amount of it. You can lose some evasion. That's fine. Sure. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's... Wait. Why does that go down? Oh, you have a lurker set. I forgot about this. Okay, well this is fine anyway. I'll, uh... I know there is a rogue set and I can work on it and that's... That's okay. I'll do that. Speaking of sets, is there anything here that can help complete one? Doesn't look like it. Plate gauntlets. I bought those and maybe regretted it. Or maybe I didn't. Okay, so, um... This is all acceptable. Did I see... No, I'm imagining things. Uh, okay, so I want to... Buy a hide. How's my money? It's okay. Do I have a spot for the rogue set here? Sand mole. Reed. No, I don't. I'm gonna have to make one. It'll be here, I guess. Sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, good enough. Okay, so buying a hide to replace the one I used. Only a hundred dollars. Not too bad. Not sure what my needs are as far as rebuilding stuff. Right, the Zarchton Harpoon. Oh, hang on. Before I spend gold keys on that, there's another thing I want to spend them on. Uh, that would be... Here. I gotta think for a moment. So yeah, that enchanted soil that I will want. Lightning rod? Sure. Yeah, so I have a lightning rod somewhere. That might be relevant. I should maybe take that with me down into the underwater dungeon, but let's find out what this stuff is. So, I mean, I guess it tells me, but I want to know what the set bonus is and other such things. And, like, how it compares to what you're currently wearing. And if I can put the druid staff or the rapier in that one statue. Also, is this even a full set? It doesn't look like it to me. Also, looks like I need an embalmer helm of some sort. No, this isn't a set at all. Okay, so energy 10, strength 2. Interesting. Energy regeneration rate. Ooh, that's cool. Um, energy 20, vitality 2, willpower 4. 10% faster cooldown is pretty cool. Oh, you have a dispel. Oh, I didn't even... Well, I haven't had a reason to use it. That might work on summon stones. I should try it. Okay, so energy... No, health went up by 10. Energy stayed the same. Evasion, food consumption, huh. A little more energy, a little more regeneration. A little more regeneration. Oh, that is okay. Spell cost minus 10%. I like this. 
I like this a lot. Am I willing to spend every gold key I have on it? Probably. Yeah, almost certainly. Like, that just makes sense. Interesting that the druid set is like all these things. I could wear two sets at once. If I could get something on my head that counted as a set. Okay, so I don't know what the embalmer's helm is, if it even exists. But yeah, okay. I think I accept that. Can be upgraded, by the way. Health regeneration, vitality. Anybody want that? You do like accuracy and dexterity. No, I think this is going to be... Hmm. No. Maybe I'll keep it around and put it on when somebody needs to regenerate. I don't know. Uh, so what about food consumption? That is definitely for you, but you already have... No? Protection, accuracy, strength. I'll just hand it to Yelmund. And I think I'm done with this. Okay, uh, you know what? I... I'm happy with my purchase. That is good stuff. Druid should absolutely have the druid stuff. Now, this does make it so I can't buy the enchanted soil. It doesn't. I can visit Skvirkus. If I find one and I'm ready to buy another. Did I... Do I have all the spells I can buy here? Cure poison. Got that one. Regeneration. Got that one. I cast it all the time. Water breathing. Yes. Falcon wings. Yep. I don't cast that much. Cure immobility. I think I know that. Cure disease, yeah, this is all done. I do have cure immobility, don't I? I do. I've never cast it. Petrification and paralysis. Okay. So, uh, that's great. Next, I want to see if this druid staff or rapier goes in the hands of that one statue. And that one statue is... Did I mark it? Yes, Daryl the Druid, right here. Uh, what's the best checkpoint near you? There are no good ones. Actually, no, this, this one is good. I just have to go on a complicated route to get back. That's fine. So like here to... Maybe I could reach this. Then here to here. Then here to here. Something like that. Okay. All right, so, water breathe. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but it's just going to be forgotten. Don't worry about it. I can probably actually just go all the way there in this current water breathe. That shouldn't be a problem. I fell down. That also shouldn't be a problem. All right, got the rapier here, druid staff there. I am going to this some spot here. Daryl the Druid. Do you want a rapier? The item does not fit well, but does the Druid staff? It does! And if I take it back... Ah, uh, oh wait, okay, I can. I thought it was locked there. Okay, great. Uh, okay, so doing map things, I need to move... Um, Potion of Vitality, Falcon Sky, I need to move. So the ladder is there. Okay, great. Alright, so Falcon Sky goes here. Potion of Vitality probably goes here. Horse Trap can just join the others in this bag. And that was all, right? Okay, and I keep my rapier, I keep my druid staff. Daryl is resolved. I forgot to sell this. I'll get to it later. I forgot to put this away, whatever. It's fine. I'm as organized as I need to be. Okay, so uh, now I want to reach this spot. There's nothing I'm going to do right here, right now. Uh, no, I need breathing. Yep. To get there, I need to go the long way around. But I know the route. I can probably even get away with doing a little bit of fighting there in that spot before I have to run for my breathing hole. Maybe. 
Actually, was there fighting to do? Did I clear it already? Hi, fish. I didn't clear you. Blue crystal, I can mine. Cool. And... Whoa, a ladder! Okay, a shortcut was created. Good. Okay, catch this fish and then go breathe, probably. Mm, I don't need to breathe yet. I'm actually okay. And there's the fighting. Okay. Cooked fish. Neat. Uh-oh, crab doing bad things to me. Uh, ooh, crab did a lot of bad things to me. Okay, um... I think I have one forest tincture left. What happened to you? Head injury? That's a bad one. I think I have one forest tincture left. I do not have one forest tincture left. I guess you get a healing potion then. I don't have any little ones of those. I guess you get a big one then. That's fine. Like one blood drop cap might be cheaper than all the stuff that goes into what is what all is all the stuff that goes into forest tincture? Do I decide a blood drop cap or two blood drop caps is worth less than Wormrit, Mudwort, Bleeding Blossom. I think I do. Okay, so from now on I'll probably use healing potions for my injury fixing needs. Oh, right. Because <laughs> I think that's ultimately going to be more practical. Thing is, I'm not growing blood drop caps, so that will eat into my stock. But my stock is fairly large, so for now I won't worry about that. Should be okay. Okay, so there's a crab to fight. I have an ancient spear, and I can swap it to your hand if I want to. All right, let's try this. There's that crabby. Yes, keep your back turned. Thank you. No, you didn't. I was hoping. Ooh, that thing is fast. Yeah, so getting a crab's back is pretty hard. That's fine. I'll deal with its front instead. There we go. Okay. Some dead fish on the ground. Hmm, a bunch of death here. Is this just what the crab was eating, maybe? Here, have this fish. At least one treasure is buried in every open-air location. I see. Yes, I hear that. I'm working on it. All right, um, well... I guess that tells me the category of secret to look for if I'm missing one in a zone. Doesn't tell me a whole lot other than that. Like, that's that's kind of actionable, but kind of not. Uh, sure. Alright, well, I appreciate having that resolved. This... Was this Dr. Perks? This is Dr. Perks. And the other place was a shortcut to here. Yeah, so those are all done. This... I haven't experienced this ladder yet. There we go, that's what it's like. Ether eat. And a snail shell that I feel the need to mark, which I already have. What's an open air location? This looks... Suspicious enough that I'm going to dig here. I can't. Can't dig underwater. All right, fair enough. So this is not an open air location. Of course it's not. There's no air here. It's all covered with water. Those are different things. All right, so I want to... Oh. Man, I need... I need things. Oops. Uh, things might be air magic skill. But I can't confirm whether that's 
gonna actually help me or not. This thing about to break, isn't it? Yep. Okay, great. So, uh, that's done. This is done. I think this zone's done. Kinda. So there's this face. Are you hungry? Ah! Not for that, but maybe. I think I got the right idea, generally. Yeah, you're starving. I understand. Are you hungry for green? And you hated that. You are not hungry for green. Are you hungry for red? You are not hungry for red. Okay, that's curious. A face that spits out poison when fed a gem. Oh, that's the sea devil, isn't it? That's the sea devil. Got it. Got it. Fresh fish. I think I have a fresh fish. I do. I got two. Okay. I think I understand what's happening here. Let's regenerate. And you need to eat... You want a cheesecake? Have a cheesecake. Chomp. Uh, you're doing okay, except you could use some food. Right, got inventory to sort. Right, I'm gonna try feeding you one fresh fish. If one's not enough, I have three more. <laughs> you wanna eat a lizard on a stick? Give it a try. Oh, did I? Someday you will find untold riches. What? That's... what? <laughs> um... okay? <laughs> Not sure what's going on with that. So by buying the unobtainable otherwise item in the shop, I got a note. I can... I can... recycle it for one dollar, I guess. Alright, Sea Devil. Chomp. 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 Four was not enough. Alright, I should come back with more. That ladder I spawned. How convenient is that? Not at all. That is way out of the way. Um, okay, let's get some more fish. I think there are some to catch around here. What's this? Probably made that ladder happen or something. No, it, it opened the, the way up there. All right, so that's just a shortcut that had to be opened from both sides, is the ultimately the story. Um, there's suspicious stuff here. I need to go somewhere good, somehow. Um, hi, I found you. Oh, not what I expected. How do I get out of here this way? So a bridge happened in that area. I need more fish. I'm gonna go get some more fish real quick. I can make it from here, right? Yeah, totally. See, this is why I didn't want to cook and eat all my fish, because they have other uses. Well, they this, this isn't the reason, but uh, I know that they have many uses, and this is one of them. I'm going to assume you will not want to eat more than ten, so I'll bring six more. How many do I have? 48? That's nice. Uh, while I'm here, I wanted to put away short of the rape here. Archmage Scapular. I forgot to look at this. That's right. Okay, um, let's make that. That sounds very nice. And yeah, um, Zorbo doesn't have a... Uh, I think that's the... What is that? The chest piece? Maybe? Uh, I need the forge formula to upgrade that, and I don't have it. Acolyte Staff. I might want to dispel something, so I should just keep that with me always. This I'm going to just put away. This I'm going to sell. I think. Do I have a spare one of those? 
there any plausible set this could be a part of? I doubt it, but you know what? I feel like keeping it anyway. It wouldn't sell for much. He would just call it a trash and give me a small token amount of money for it. Uh, okay, so making Arch Archmage Scapular. And I got the fish. And that was all my business. Right, I do still want to try and complete the Embalmer set if possible, if the headpiece actually exists for it. I don't know if it does. Uh -huh. Neat. Okay, protection three, willpower two, resist all four. Yeah, better than this. Uh, Academy of Deaths, that's probably vanilla text. All right. So this will go... I don't have enough shelves for all the sets I'm trying to make here. Uh, well, I'll clear some space here. Or pretend it's clear enough. Sure. Good enough. Okay, so, uh... Someday you will find untold riches. There is no way this is an actionable clue to anything, right? Well, I'll write it down in my notes and then just plan to sell it. Maybe if I buy enough lizards on a stick, someday inside one of them I will find untold riches. I don't know. It could be. Uh, okay, so going back to here. Gotta sleep. I think I can sleep next to the place here. Do I want to do that now? I think so. Um, I could wait. Let's wait a little bit, since I'm not doing combat-related things. Okay, where am I going with what? I'm feeding the sea devil. Can I get there in one run here? This is the wrong way. Not if I make all the wrong turns. If I don't, I am unsure. Uh, the shortcut would be there. Oh, and I uh, made a bridge. Hang on, I want to investigate that first. I think it was over this area. Yeah, here we go. Neat. Elixir of Quickness? I don't think I know what that is. Okay, I can maybe get to the other checkpoint real quick. I think that's plausible. Because it's just over here. Elixir of Quickness. Ooh! That is nice. Zarbro probably most wants that, I'm thinking. But I'm gonna have to think about it. And maybe use the mirror a bit to see what my status is. I'm gonna feed you one at a time. Five. It was five. Okay. All right, cool. Elixir Resistance. Ooh, that sounds like another permanent upgrade. Oh, Moonblade! Well, that's for you. Okay, very nice. And that has a special attack. You can finally use your energy for... Uh... Ooh, I'm looking forward to doing three backstabs in a row with that. It's going to be nice. Okay, um, so now this zone feels pretty close to clear. Okay, so let's do some business. All resistances, that's neat. By only one, but still. Uh, the lowest individual resistant is Zarbo's shock resistance. What's the element I want to resist the most? I feel like shock is the one I least care about. Poison matters a little bit. Cold matters for cold zones. I'm not sure if I'm done with those or if there will be more. But I have enough with the equipment I have to get over the threshold, so I'm not going to worry about that. So fire? Alright, so the lowest fire resistance of anybody is Yelmond. 
I could add these numbers together to figure out what's the best choice, but I think just looking at John Rack's numbers, I think I want to just give that to him. Don't have to think so hard about that. It's just plus one to everything. You know, it's nice, but it's not, like, life-changing. Cooldown speed. Again, 1%. Not life-changing, but still nice. 75. 75. 76. 85. So you've already had one of those. Uh, do I want it to be Zarbo? Maybe I just want to spread those around. Honestly, yeah, let's spread them around. So next one will go to John Rack, next one will go to Zarbo. Something like that. It's not an exciting way to do it, but it's, uh, it's balanced. Okay, don't think I can realistically do this. Oh, I should bring some batteries there. Right, and the vines and the mystery chest, I think this might be related to that. Well, I'm done here. Like, this, this spot is, is finished. I see no particular hints of anything more there. Nothing looks suspicious to my eyes. So there's this. And I haven't found a skull key anywhere in this zone. Perhaps it's down there. I mean, this... Like, I can't go this way, right? It just... What's here? I want to know what's there. Let's find out what's there. Let's sleep. Alright, let's eat. That sausage is quite filling. It's very good. Let's save. And... Uh, what was it I wanted to do? I wanted to get two batteries and come back here. This is not the way to jump off. This is one acceptable way. Sure. Alright, so two batteries. Where am I going? Here. No. Here? Yes. While I'm here, I'm tempted to look at those vines again. But I should deal with the batteries first, but I kind of want to look at the vines again. <laughs> Just to see if I can parse anything about them. Ah, they're too far out of the way. I'll do it when I bring the battery. Alright, gonna get a breath here in case my water breathing runs out at a... Yeah, it's dead, but that's fine. I know I can make it with just a regular breath. Crystal shards of recharging, again, seem to have a lot more uses than I... than the number of them that I have to, to spend. Uh, so I got a lot of quite significant upgrades today. I feel a lot more powerful, even though I haven't, like put them into use yet, just knowing the, the stat difference is, is quite significant. A lot of things happened. I did spend four gold keys, to be fair, uh, so that's not nothing. Um, I'm getting... It's not impossible I might use that for, like, life regeneration. You have too many things on you. You have so many weapons! <laughs> okay, I'm getting these, right. I have nine. That's enough to be comfortable spending these two, not worry about getting them back, I think. Oops. Okay. So I know I can go the other way from that checkpoint, but I don't think I can go forward and reach that in time. Alright, so down here somewhere. Whoa. Game had a little stutter moment there. Somewhere right around here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Whoa! Not what I expected. Uh, shoot, I should have saved before coming here. Oh, jeez! Uh, uh-oh. Oh, that is not what I expected. I saved recently, right? 
and this is all underwater, so breathing is going to be an issue. This is probably the place where I'm going to end up using this item. So there's a boss fight here! That is wild. And I can't just walk out of it, of course, right? Right, no, I went down a pit to get here. So these things are here. I don't have a name for them, but whatever they are, they're here. Wow, they just murdered my face. I didn't put any damage on them to measure how much that was, but okay. When did I save? Hopefully not too long ago. Let's check. So this has put me at this checkpoint. Post Sea Devil. I think I just went straight back, got the batteries and came here and didn't really do anything else. By the clock, this was four minutes prior. Yeah, I think nothing of consequence happened between now and then. Okay, so there's a boss fight there. Uh... Uh, that's what I'll call those. All underwater, four tentacle monsters, and two dark bolt monsters, and that's gonna be quite serious. I am not gonna do that now. Uh, maybe that's the reward for clearing that encounter. Okay, that's gonna be an ordeal. This makes me a little bit suspicious. But not all that much, just a little bit. Okay, so I think I'm satisfied with Siren Deeps for now. I would like to know what's in this pit, so let's make a plan to next time jump down there and at least look at it, uh, just to get an idea of what's down there. Can I zip over to this checkpoint? I think I can. If I went this way, even without any special breathing. Looks like it's close enough. And yeah, that'll be a good jumping off point to check down that pit and just see what's there. I am curious. Alright, so next time, looking underground here. Underwater, underground, took some damage, that's okay. Uh, and I'll see you then to see what's there.